Jerry Yurkowski models the freelanced HO scale Flathead Valley branch of the Canadian Pacific Railway in the mythical town of Jerome, British Columbia, Canada. Jerome is situated in a valley just west of the Continental Divide and was settled in the early days of railway expansion during the CPR's efforts to build a transcontinental route. It represents what could have been if the railroad had built a line through the remote valley. Hi, I'm Jenny Waters with Trackside Model Railroading. I'm here with Jerry Yurkowski at his Canadian Pacific Railroad. It's the freelance town of Jerome. That's right. And Jerry, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about what you've modeled. Well, like all adults, we grew up building models when we were kids. And um, I guess it just carried on for the next few decades. Okay. You said you uh, you originally built a piece of railroad for your son, um, what, about 30 years ago? I started to build a 4x8 uh, plywood railroad for him. And once I got the track down and the switches in, I realized that he wasn't into the railroad. I wasn't necessarily into the railroad, but I did enjoy the modeling and building the little structures and trying to make them look as real as possible. Um, are any of the original buildings from that layout way back, are they still here on in Jerome? I did. I did. saved uh, the Texaco gas station and there's uh, two or three other buildings on Main Street that uh, I saved over the years. They probably kept them for 25 years before I did anything with them. Okay. And then you said that you built one part of the layout when you were you were recuperating and needed a, an outlet for a while. Is that when you started that first piece of layout? Yeah, it was. Well, I was kind of laid up for a while at home. I couldn't do too much outside. I didn't have any energy. So I thought I would rejuvenate those old buildings and build myself a diorama. And I came up with a 30-inch by 60-inch diorama. I was just going to build a little town. I was going to call it Jerome. Okay. Um, Jerome, the name came from, I didn't want to call it Jerry or Jerryville. Right. I had a friend that uh, called me Jerome and I thought, well, there's a few Jeromes around. There's one in Arizona and one in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Jerry mostly operates the layout solo, using NCE, Digital Command Control, and he keeps operations simple. He integrated the initial tabletop scene into the center of the full layout at an angle, leaving space in the center of the mainline loop where he can climb under to operate, build trains in the yard, or make repairs. He keeps two or three trains in operation on the layout, changing them out now and then to avoid clogging up the small yard with extra trains. Jerry, can you tell me a little bit about the structure of Jerome and the scenery techniques that you've used? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this didn't start off as a railroad. I had no intentions of that. I had built a diorama, 30 inches by 60 inches, and it was down here in the storage room. And I uh, thought, well, now what I'm going to do is sit here and just look at it. So uh, I asked permission from the wife uh, if I could remove some of the storage units in here and build uh, the bench work. She doesn't come down here that often, and she was a little surprised at the size of it when she did come down. Yeah. So is it insulation foam that you've used for the, for like the mountains? And... I used pink styrofoam, uh, put on a bunch of layers, and then started carving and hacking at it. And... Okay, yeah, it looks good. And then we, look, we really like your, some of your details in the streets and the, your weathering. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, I learned a lot from a fellow in Australia that uh, puts videos online. Uh, his name's Luke Talon. 
and he has some great tutorials. Uh, watch those, and they're so realistic that I just used his techniques and incorporated them into the uh, my structure. Okay. Like the uh, roads themselves are made out of uh, plaster of Paris. Um, once you've got that down, spray them with some charcoal, mist them with a little bit of cream, and they look quite realistic. Yeah, they do. They look really good. Jerry's primary modeling goal is to create realism. He's more interested in the art of modeling than in the railroad itself. Because of that, he has spent time adding a significant amount of detail to the layout. He painted rust on the rails, added details like garbage cans, awnings, cracks in the streets, which are plaster, manhole covers, flowers, and figures all over town. He used insulation foam as the scenery base and hand carved the mountains, which he placed against the wall. Like most modelers, he utilizes selective compression on the layout and placed the mountains quite close to town. Some of the agriculture is modeled, but much of it is implied in order to save room for him to model the town and the details that he enjoys. The ground cover includes sand, ground foam, static grass, and a variety of commercial and handmade trees. He used scenic details from Woodland Scenics and Walthers, and made advertising signage for many of the fence lines and buildings. The structures are mainly kits that he built from bar mills and Campbell scale models. Jerry made the pond in Jerome and the river coming out of the mountains using Woodland Scenics realistic water. He said he has learned many scenery techniques from Australian modeler Luke Towen, who makes videos showing his construction of detailed scenes from start to finish. So, Jerry, where is Jerome basically based? Jerome's an imaginary town. Um, I guess we'd have to situate it someplace on the Alberta BC border because it's got a collection of mountains and a little bit of uh, prairie. Some of the uh, old small town feel that I maybe grew up with and going and staying on my grandma's farm. Well, thank you, Jerry, for sharing your layout with us. Well, thank you very much for coming out. We offer the complete tour of this layout and many more on DVD video. Trackside Model Railroading, where the hobby comes to life. For more content and information on this layout, please visit us at www.tracksidemodelrailroading.com.